Hello and uh, good evening, good afternoon, or perhaps it's good morning, wherever in the world you are watching us. I'm Bob Lancato, and uh, I am with tonight for Vespers, our concert composer, Rick Ogando. Right now in Loma Linda, California, where we are based, it is just about sunset and near the start of Sabbath. Now where you are, it might already be Sabbath or it uh, could be Saturday afternoon, <laughs> depending uh, which side of the dateline you're on. Regardless, we have a program tonight of music and inspiration to help uh, put you in the right frame of mind in a uh, very reflective attitude of prayer as we enter the Sabbath day. Rick, you are our concert composer tonight, and that's why you're with me. Old friend who has been on this stage many times before. Thank you. And Thank you. Uh, tell us a little bit about who we have tonight and what is lined up. Oh, we have a few really professional musicians. And um, the first one is going to be Madeline Vega. She um, was raised in Puerto Rico, very professional person and spiritual person. And um, she's got a song, very special song for us tonight is Abre Mis Ojos, mm. which is Open My Eyes. And, uh, and the, the Bible says that Jesus was saying, emphasizing that we have to open up our eyes spiritually, not just our eyes. Mm. That way we could grow spiritually. Madeline, tell us a little bit about that song. Thank you so much. It's a blessing and an honor being here, and happy Sabbath. The first song is, is Abre Mis Ojos Al Mundo, Open God My Eyes. And you remember that Jesus used that phrase in the Bible to uh, actually bring someone to life. canción que cantas para mí la caricia del sol la nieve fugaz proclaman tu grandeza pues quién como tú quién quién con tu poder Since 
nothing like you. No, no power on earth can bless me with grace. But you, I don't deserve it, God. But I do thank you that every morning, God, I get to see your glory. your glory. I have a second offering for you, and this second song is very important in my life because it's a song of new beginnings. Sometimes you accept God, and then you decide, oh, let me walk away for some time. However, God is always a God of second chances, and he will tell you back. Entre la risa fácil que a mi ser con mano firme esclavizó. Mas nunca encontré el dulce gozo que mi alma buscó. La paz completa que me abandonó cuando ignorante te dejé. Ya estoy de vuelta, Señor, de nuevo a ti. Diste tu vida, sangre que sanó mi amarga herida y por tu compasión mi alma sí se transformó. Alabo tu poder. Me llena el alma la dicha de creer en tu grandeza, tu mano se extendió.
para salvar al pecador. I'm here, Lord, by your grace, praising your love. Since I was lost, now I'm found. Say. Masterful, Madeline, and, and flawless. And that is not easy when you are on live television. Thank you so much, and God bless you all. And you have a wonderful Sabbath. And, uh, and thank you for that wonderful wish. Thank you. Uh, we are live on LLBN from Studio One. And right now, in Loma Linda, California, and throughout the Pacific time zone, the sun is set. So it is now Sabbath, and to all our viewers, in the Pacific area, happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Rick, uh, let me take a moment just for a little piece of scripture while we are preparing for our next artist. This is from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. You are a chosen people, royal priests, a holy nation, a people for God's own possession. And the commentary I have on that is it's, it's a wonderful thing that Sabbath does because it gives us time to reflect on who we really are. But Bob, let me tell you something. When God emphasizes God's own possession, it means that he wants to have a relationship with us. He has, he's asking that we own that gift. And sometimes that is not easy when you've had a tough week at work right. or school or whatever challenges make up your life, which is why Sabbath is so important because right. that's that time to set all that aside. And as the commandment says, remember. Remember. And keep it holy. It's a good relationship that God wants for us. The next song, or oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. The next song is, please introduce it. Well, Don Sin is going to sing... Rainbow, no? And um, dancing is very uh, gift person. Uh, you're going to tell, you're going to notice that the way he plays guitar is, is very unique. He's proud of it. <laughs> He's been playing for a long, long time. And um, when I met Don, it's, it's incredible. It was way back in uh, 79. Uh, he was playing a 12-string guitar. And he used to make speak his guitar really clear. I was super impressed. But then uh, from there on, he's been performing with Forgiving, Independent, 
And uh, one last year, I invite him to Fort Lauderdale in a competition of composer concerts. And uh, it was a wonderful experience because we, we took a few, few composers there. In fact, I'm, in try I'm trying to invite him back again to Houston the, uh, next year. They have, a, they have a plan for it to make another composer concert. And um, to identify as a composer, the heart of the composer. That's, that's one of the reasons I've been putting this programming so they could sing one voice, one instrument. Because you're gonna see details, you're gonna hear details from that musician that we hardly hear when it's already elaborated music. I believe, I totally respect once a person become a composer because it is not a higher level, but it's like wider mm -hmm. level. Right. That is like three dimension. Mm -hmm. Done. Go ahead.
The rainbow, of course, God's promise to uh, all of his people. And you know, is anything too hard for the Lord? This is a piece of scripture right out of the book of Genesis. Amen. Is anything too hard for the Lord? <laughs> Emphatically, no. No. And I think uh, a lesson from that is uh, don't give up. If the road is long, stay with it. Don't stop. Is the night black? Don't quit. Amen. Because if you do, there's a good chance that you may very well miss wow. the answer to your prayers. That's correct. Good. That's so beautiful. Don, what do you have for now? What's, what's the next? Well, this one is a song about my journey far from God. And whenever you run from God, you try to go as far away as possible. But he's around us and everything that we see it's not until that we realize that he loves us and he wants the same thing that we are looking for that we can come back and experience that um, love again like it never went away. Amen. So. Thank you, Don, for being with us. His footstool. All creation says he is God. And who begs the question, where is God today? When he's here. Cause a million years or more will pass away. Not a day goes by without a long It's all I ever wanted you to know. When will you realize that I am God and you are mine? Dimensions are made in heaven for sure. Won't you come home? 
wanderer come home the mansions are made in heaven for sure won't you come home a wanderer come home Is all I ever wanted to know. Now I realize that I am yours and you are God. Very deep words. <laughs> I hope everybody was listening. <laughs> The words tell it all. As we said in the beginning, if you freely accept God, you are chosen. Yes. And from the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter 8, 12, another amazing thing about God. God says, I will forgive their wickedness and remember their sins no more. Isn't that remarkable? A wonderful promise. No grudges, no resentment. Uh, once you repre uh, repent, no lingering doubt. Ask forgiveness and your past sins are screened out by the sacrifice of Jesus. It's a remarkable promise. We really thank uh, Albion to opening the doors for us and to share this music. I was uh, every now and then uh, dancing. I visit him or he visit me sometimes and he plays his music and you know, uh, I kind of, it's kind of selfish just to, for him to play in, our, in my house. So this is a wonderful opportunity that we are in Vespers sharing with you a dance scene. And uh, Don, what you gonna have for us? Well, there's another, another song that I just wrote. It's, it's fairly new. And um, one of my favorite times of the day is in the morning when the sun comes up. And I love to travel a couple hours before sunrise and watch that beautiful sun come up. But it breaks with just one ray of light. And I feel the same way in our, in our lives. If we get to the place where it's so dark, all we got to do is let one ray of light come in and it just changes everything. And so don't give up hope. If uh, your heart's been broken a million times, uh, there's still hope for you. Amen. So. <laughs> Son of light, you can come in. 
can come anytime. Let a new day be born. New day be born. From creation, a new day was born. Lovely. Rick, any comments? I think uh, we should do these more often. <laughs> the, the talent that musicians, they have, is a long miles. And uh, we have to have some type of sharing location, sharing knowledge, experience, because every time, every song, every, every music, there is an experience behind. It's a relationship with God, it's something happened within that composition. It's, it's uh, it, that inspiration, it's amazing. Now we're gonna have uh, Cabo. Cabo, there's another visit that I have from Cabo and we sit down playing together and uh, he invited me to one of his group also in uh, Corona and it was a lot of talent. Behind every musician, there is a lot of talent behind. And that's, why, that's the magnetic we have right. to have. And especially if they're playing for the Lord. It's, it's, yeah, that's correct. Spreading his word that's the through purpose. music. That's the purpose. There is a language that our soul is willing to express to God. Uh, location, uh, just a special situation, uh, that music is ready for it. Mm -hmm. so, and, uh, you know, from the book of Luke, the Son of Man came to find lost people and save them. And one powerful way of doing that is through the uh, marvelous melody of music. Music. So what cowboy is going to do? Check, check. I'm going to be singing a song by Joel Osteen and the Hillsong crew. Um, it's called God of Creation, or So Will I. Um, it's a beautiful song just about creation and the art and, and how he spoke and the whole world came into place. So I hope you guys enjoy. God of creation, there at the start before the beginning of Spoke to the dark and fleshed out the wonder of light. And as you speak, a hundred billion galaxies are born. In the vapor of your breath, the planets form. If the stars made to worship so would I I can see your heart in everything you've made every burning star a single fire of grace if creation sings your praises so Don't speak in vain, no syllable empty or void. For once you have spoken, our nature and science follow the sound of your voice. And as you speak, Yeah. 
just catch your breath If I feel in pursuit of what you said If it all reveals your nature so Painted sky, a canvas of your grace. If creation still obeys you, so would I. So would I. If the stars are made to worship, so. You chased down my heart through all of my failure and pride. On the hill you created the light of the world, abandoned in darkness to die. And as you speak, disappear where you lost your love so I could find it here if you left the grave behind you so Excellent. And I understand you're going to grace us with one more song? Please. We're eagerly awaiting that. Uh, while uh, there's this transition going on, I'd, um, I, I'd, I'd like to mention a couple of things about LLBN. First, this is Vespers coming to you live from the studios of LLBN in Loma Linda, California. And we do this once a month, the last Friday of the month, and in this case, because it's Sabbath, uh, the sun sets early now, and uh, it's that time of year when um, we want to ask you and encourage you to consider LLBN in your prayers, because it's uh, the end of the year, the closing of the books, it's a very important time for all of us here at the station. And this allows us to bring this wonderful music so I think we're ready to go. I don't want to delay this any longer. Please, your next number. <laughs> the next song is a very simple song. It just says, what a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus.
creation Now reveal to you our Christ What a beautiful name it is What a beautiful name it is The name of Jesus Christ My King What a beautiful name it is Nothing compares to this What a beautiful name it is The name of Jesus You didn't want heaven without us So Jesus, you brought heaven down My sin was great, your love was greater. What could separate us now? What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a wonderful name it is. Nothing compares to this What a wonderful name it is The name of Jesus What a wonderful name it is The name of Jesus Death could not hold you the veil torn before you, the silence, the boast of a sin and grave. The heavens are roaring, the praise of your glory, for you are raised to life again. You have no rival. You have no equal now and forever, God, you reign. Yours is the kingdom, yours is the glory, yours is the name above all names. What a powerful name it is. What a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a powerful name it is, and nothing compares to this. What a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. What a powerful name it is, the name Musicians uh, take a bit of a break now because uh, they have been playing quite a long time. It's been nearly 45 minutes. And uh, what that means is I'll get to speak and talk a little bit more about what I was referencing uh, just before that song started. How much we count on our viewers uh, like yourselves to not only pray for us but support LLBN financially. Uh, that it helps us to bring these programs to you, Vespers, live from our studios, and a wide range of other programs as well. You know, LLBN started about 21 years ago. It was one channel, one signal, on a local cable system uh, that uh, served the Loma Linda area. And now we have grown tremendously in the past 21 years. We have eight separate channels total networks, uh, that includes five distinct foreign languages in the main tongues spoken around the world, as well as a separate health and wellness channel. 
And spreading God's word today now means programming on satellite uplinks and having airtime on multiple uh, birds, as we call them in the profession, the satellites, to provide uh, worldwide coverage 24-7. And our coverage, our signal, is received in some 147 countries on all of the world's inhabited continents. But then it doesn't stop. There are other ways that we can make God's word known in a lot of new media channels. Uh, this includes live streaming on services like YouTube. Uh, we also have uh, internet protocol television, which means Roku. And we uh, also have our website that we constantly have to update and keep fresh. You can have videos and you can research all the programs. And there's also an archive that allows you the playback past shows. There are also multiple social media channels. I mean, when you think of all the different ways that we can communicate today, and the amazing thing is that God has given us the wherewithal to be on all of them. We have Twitter, we have Facebook, we are on Pinterest and Instagram, we have live streaming video on YouTube. You know, the old days of one television studio and one transmitter and one signal going out to a limited area, those days are long gone. And today we have to be on these channels because so many other services are also using them. But we are among the few that broadcast God's Word, family television, entertainment, information, and inspiration about the Lord. But all of this comes with your support. We are indeed truly viewer supported. And uh, what that means is we don't have the financial resources, we don't have large institutions or government money that funds us to keep us going. What we need most of all are people to donate, graciously donate, their resources to help LOBN stay on the air. It takes a tremendous amount of money to keep all these platforms maintained, not just the television operation, but the World Wide Web and all the uh, various uh, social media channels and YouTube as well. And we have to maintain equipment. There is a lot of technical support that goes with it. And uh, remember, we're spreading the word of Jesus now to the entire planet. It has been a long time since Loma Linda Broadcasting Network served primarily the Loma Linda area. Now, the good news here is that we have wonderful volunteer talent who work with LLBN, not just in the television operation, but also in the web and social media operations. We have a call center, contact center. Uh, we are very blessed to be living in an area like Southern California, where we have very well-educated, skilled professionals. Now, when you think of Southern California, you probably think of the palm trees and the freeways and the big cities, but we have marvelous universities. We are a key area in Southern California for the aerospace industry and the electronics industry and, of course, the entertainment industry. And from these uh, wonderful resources, we have many talented and very highly skilled volunteers. These are people who give of their own time. They are not receiving a salary. They are committed to spreading God's word and they're eager to help. And uh, so many of the uh, people that we have here tonight, running camera, setting lights, doing audio, uh, they are all volunteers. Now that helps us keep our costs low. So I can say emphatically, uh, for every dollar that is given to LLBN, 95 cents of it goes into the operation of this ministry, the outreach. Uh, this is the ability to maintain the satellites, to stay on the air, to keep the website current, uh, to keep social media platforms up and running and updated on a regular basis. So uh, we seek help in doing this. Our costs are greatly offset by our wonderful volunteers 
but we still have maintenance of equipment and satellite time and all of this costs money. Now, we hope that you will pray for us and at the same time uh, remember us, especially as we close out the year financially and support our ministry here at LLBN TV. Rick, uh, I'd like you to come up, join me for a moment because I think our musicians are ready. And we will do, it's called Great Are You, Lord. It goes, it's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise to you only. We pour out our praise to you always. You give life, you are love, you bring light to the darkness, you bring hope, you restore every heart that is broken. Oh, great are you, Lord. It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise, we pour Wonderful words. I was listening, and the words are very meaningful, very touching, perfect for Sabbath. Great. Amen. Yes, I would like to invite any composers to continue composing music that is made specifically 
when we are in heaven singing to God. That's the desire of our hearts, every musician, to take their time and connect that heart to the Lord. Happy Sabbath. Great. Is there one more song? Uh, there is. <laughs> no? Okay. Well, then I'd like to close with something because I have a, a wonderful proverb. It's from Africa, a beautiful continent, that uh, I'd like to help close out our program with a Vespers tonight. If you go to God with a thimble, you can only bring back a thimble full. And I make this mistake sometimes personally. Sometimes we think the marvelous God who created this world the sky, the mountains, the deep oceans, and all the trees has done enough, and he's limited. We, we, we tend to limit God. I sometimes do that, too. Uh, we ask for things of him, and we think, well, God, I really don't want to bother you. I feel it's an imposition. And the one thing that I would say to that bearing in mind that proverb, is that we have an unlimited account with God's universal bank. He knows our heart. If we are sincere followers, as I mentioned at the beginning of the program, among the chosen people, um, we have an unlimited account. And my sincere faith is my deposit. He knows that myself and all of us who believe are indeed sincere. So God wants happiness. He wants happiness for all of us. And in his time, he will respond to our most pressing needs. Something to bear in mind as uh, you contemplate uh, Sabbath. Amen. The sun is set here in Loma Linda. It is now Sabbath time. And um, I'd just like to thank everybody for joining us tonight. I'd also like to do a quick reminder about a very special program that is beginning this Sunday evening, that will be the 28th of October, starting at 6 p.m., it's LLBN's live fall special, and our guest will be Pastor John Bradshaw, who will be joining us over a five-day period right through Thursday evening, November 1st. Now, that begins at 6 p.m., that's Pacific time. Again, that starts Sunday night, continues through next Thursday night. In closing, let me say, wherever you are in the world, happy Sabbath. Sabbath. God bless you, and have a good evening. Thank you for joining us on Vespers on LLBN.